And people have also known that testosterone or hormones, sex hormones, play a huge role in regulating behavior, right? So eunuchs and castrates, castrates, have been used in palaces and in courts sort of to guard harems, for example. Um, that was also, the motivation? Yep. Wouldn't you favor a more aggressive, uh, testicularly intact male if no, the goal the, is protection? I think the idea was that if you had you know, a castrate guarding a harem of females, then they can't sort of, you know, have sexual behavior with them. They can't have sex with them. Oh, well, they weren't going to do what the cuttlefish do. Right. Cuttlefish males will pretend they're females, that's right. befriend Camouflage, females, yes, right. and then they'll and then they'll mate right. with them. Yeah. And also in opera singing, right, you would have castrates who would have a higher-pitched voice. And right. they were castrated early in life to maintain the high-pitched voice. Yes. Anyway, i um, just going to refrain from any... I mean, the poor kids that... Presumably, they didn't get a choice. Presumably, yeah. Yikes. Um, okay. So here's where here's where I'm um, stuck. All right. I can hear all this biology, and it's very clear that the genes and hormones are affecting peripheral, what we call phenotypes. 